welcome back to the snake pit. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit about Russian Systema. And we're going to be doing an exercise and it's relaxation and, and getting your opponent into a vulnerable position. And we're not going to really go beyond that, but just how to move and understand the mechanics of it all. And before I want to get into the way we're going to do it, because it's going to be slightly different than the Systema way, um, I'm going to show you a clip of this is the people from Sistema. Uh, Vladimir Vasiliev is the head of Sistema here. In, well, he's in Canada, but in the United States, that's who you're going to be under. Um, just to kind of see how they do it. They're a lot more, <clears throat> the way they do it, their opponent is, is a lot looser. And I like to keep it more real world oriented. And so we're going to do it where Josh is a little bit stiffer because he's naturally a stiffer person anyway. And, well, you are. <laughs> and so we're going to, because, you know, just keep it a little more real world. But check out this clip before we get started. Devastating movements, endurance, striking power, and total control of any empty hand attack. This film combines great explanations with nonstop action. It will rock your world. But wait, there's more. This feature includes an unprecedented bonus segment. Defense from a chain. Alright, so that was a little clip and showed you how they do it. And you notice both the attacker and the defender was both really loose and really flowing. This is for a lot of people when I show them this stuff, like, well, that's not realistic. And it's no, it's not, but they do that for training purposes. But it's important to not just 100% train like that. You got to vary it up. And that's what I like to do. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start out with a technique, it's called snaking. And we're going to do it off of the soccer right punch. And all you do is you come in here, and you just bring this right around, and you just snake this right around. Let's get it. He's going to punch, just bring us in, a little slow. In right here, boom. This just directs this right away from me, here, and there. And see how I just shuffle in? It's just a simple uh, step drag. Go back to the footwork video, see that? Alright. Now that you got that part, he's going to punch and snake. And just start out, just work on this snake. Okay? Boom. A little faster. Boom. See, you come, you notice right here, I think you can see it in the camera. I even got him in the leg right here. And it might not always go like this. That's why it's good to do this with different people, different situations. And just, it's like I said before, fights aren't pretty. Fights are ugly. Changes by the second. So again, boom. All right. Now, got that part. See how it gets us, uh, what we call the outside line. Square here. Uh, this arm outside, this is the outside line. Over here, this is the inside line. And you know, it's not necessarily bad to be on the inside line if this is where you want to be. Uh, for this technique, for all intents and purposes, we're going to come out here outside line. Yeah, let's get close to the camera again. Yeah, right here with this, we're going to do our snake. Snake. Muscle. Snake. <laughs> snake. Alright, and we're going to bring this trail. We're going to come right here, this pressure point that we've done before on the very first technique, delayed sword. You're going to put your hand right in here. And you're just going to bring him down. Just like that. Again, kind of slow here. Boom. Here. And it just fits right in this crook. And down. Alright. Come right here. Again. Here. And down. And this time I grab my hand, give a little extra oomph. Boom. See, you got all this to play with now. And then this be good. Come right here, your ear, the handle. Come around here. Boom. So, <laughs> again, kind of slow. Here, boom, bring them down. All right. Now yeah, you can, uh, the same thing, start out with a snake here. Boom. You can shoot this on in right here. 
Grab. Boom. You can choke my hair. I didn't have it sunk in real deep. You go deep there. Boom. Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I started to gurgle. Right there. And. <coughs> in a second. So, just snake. That's what we call a snake. Keep it nice and tight. Take up the space. All right, you want to be all up in their business. Okay, and we can also go down here. Remember what I talked about foundation, solid foundation. Mess up his foundation. Come here, snake. You get right here. Kick. Boom. All right. That was all to the outside line. You can do the same thing the inside line. We did off this same arm. This time I'm going to snake with my other hand. Go right here. Boom. Now I'm coming in here the inside line. Now you, you can still come here. This time you're going to get basically a standing arm bar right here. <coughs> Went over a standing arm bar in the joint lock video. Here. Boom. Remember two points of contact to break something, right? Here's your first point of contact, second point, boom. All right, I just took his head down right into the knee, boom. All right, so you can do it with the left hand. He comes in here with the southern punch. So, so you're thinking it's gonna be all right, so you're getting ready to go in the outside line. Instead, you come in here inside line. Well, that's all right, boom. Boom. And once you got him there, just play with it. And key is relax. Just relax. Okay? It's just a fight. Worst thing to do is hit you. Alright, so here he punches. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it's going to lead us right into something else. Also, I just grabbed his head, pushed it down. Alright? It's another good point to know the fighting. It's a very good rule of thumb. Wherever a person's head goes, their body will follow. Simple enough. So if it comes in, just come in with it. So here, boom. I come up here. Alright, head goes, body will follow. I can, I can bring them all around. Here. one of those things you can play with and you know it's amazing how you can do that and work that into a fight and just especially the thermal minimums coming at you all you gotta do thermal minimums coming here you grab his head take it wherever you want your body will follow it um okay back to what was doing snaking and just to uh, practice this off different punches right left inside outside just play with it and just play. That's all you gotta do. And uh, you know, work with your opponent. Don't always come here throwing just a fast punch that you know they can't work with. Work it up to that. Start out slow. Work with your partner. All right. And then, then you can go with a fast punch. Then you can come here. All right. But you gotta work up to that. All right. Now, we're going to take that same theory, that same principle, and put it towards a knife. Alright? Now, before we start talking about this knife, let me tell you this. If you get in a knife fight, expect to get cut. Alright? Don't go into a knife fight thinking, oh, I'm not going to get cut. You're going to get cut. Go ahead and get any hit. Alright? The thing you don't want to do is die. Alright? Uh, it's just like if you get in a fight, you don't go into a fight thinking, I'm not going to get hit. No, you go in a fight, you know, you're going to get hit. It's a fight. Same thing with a knife. If you ever talk to a knife fighter, they say they're a knife fighter and they don't have any cuts in their arms, they're a liar. All right. So I'm going to start out with this knife, doing the same, uh, same thing. Go up to Boom. All right. And you just deflect it. And, and you don't want to do what I just did and basically just kind of throw it out here to nowhere. 
you want to trap it like we've done here. Boom, boom. All right. They know what we got. Boom. All right. Uh, and then you can go to the inside line if you'd like. Boom. Here. Boom. Get this. And let's do that strip close to the camera. Uh, I know what you probably say. You just strip that from the blade. All right. Uh, so we're coming here. Inside line. Bring it here. Boom. Now, when you strip this knife, I don't know if you can see this well. You know, you got sharp edges. What you do is you the flat. You just bend it right over. All right. And what this is, hold it with the other hand. <laughs> All right. So you got an opening right here, and that's what you pushing it out of is the opening. All right. You're not gonna you're not gonna grab it like a dum dum. Keep your hand flat. Strip it out. All right. That same theory here. Uh, like a straight end stab. All right. Here. Boom. All right. And, and, and you know you can even keep it flat right in here. You can just grab the blade right here if you like. I don't know what you're thinking. You know. But you're not getting stabbed right here. Okay. Here. It may cut you a little bit, but you're not going to die. Uh, I've learned many different ways of knife fighting. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show this one. It's stupid, and I'm going to tell you why. I've seen this done, taught. It's been taught to me. All right? Uh, no, uh, bones right here in the back of the knuckle. I'm not going to hit you hard. And then inside of here, phoenix eyes. Come on, hold it like a man. All right? Right here. And you boom. And yes, it disarmed him. Okay. But what's gonna happen now? That. Alright, the fight's gonna be on to get to the knife. And you better hope he don't get to it first. So what you want is to retain the weapon. You never want to sling this thing. And just like we was talking third person perspective. If his buddy's over here, you don't you don't know who these people are if you're surrounded. You don't want this person with this knife. So you want to keep this knife in pro close proximity. That being said, straight in, boom. Here, strip it. See that time I'm up here, stripped out, boom. All right. Um, spin around here. Drop the knife. All right. Here. Come on. All right. It's a little different. Still got that. And see where this opening is? What you doing? Spinning it right out. And you can go the other way. You can spin it out this way. Right? Um, overhead, the big, you know, psycho stabber guy, right? Uh, love this, and this one's easy. So they come in and stab. You stab yourself. All right? Just complement that force. Complement the motion. Come on. All right? Then you can come in here and go to town. Just work on these. Oh, no. no. Just work on these. Work on them slow. Like I said, always start out slow. Work on the speed later. Here. Boom. Boom. Alright. Feel more comfortable on this side for some reason. I'm real fast. Okay. <laughs> now, as you see, I might have got cut a little bit. But Josh just got his throat cut. So, who won the fight? <laughs> Pretty much some disease. Yeah. Um, I want to go ahead and mention something here. When you're doing these knife techniques, uh, see how I stripped the knife from Josh, all right? This is when you're working with your partner. Now it's your turn to be the attacker. You don't want to get in the habit of this. All right? Bad habit to get into, all right? You'd be surprised. You'll think, well, I wouldn't do that. You'd be surprised. That muscle memory. You get in a fight, you strip it from them because it's just what you're used to doing. Hand it back to them. Uh, tell you a story. Uh, back a long time ago, when police used, used uh, wheel guns, revolvers, uh, at a shooting range, these officers, when they'd shoot, they was taught to pick up their shells from the shooting range. Pick up the shells, put them in your pocket. All right. This was a habit they was in. One time, these two officers was in this shootout, and they both died. And they couldn't figure out why, because the situation, 
there was no reason they should have died in this situation. When they got to investigating the scene, there was no shells on the ground, no casings. It was all in their pockets. Because they was in that habit, being when they was on the field shooting, they'd pick up their, their spend ammo, put it in their pocket, reload, shoot. And that wasted time cost them their lives. And in that from that day forward on that shooting range, they left their, their spent ammunition on the ground. Because it's just that most member, that training. And Josh called me out on this when he was doing the stick. He's like, you give me the stick back. But don't get in that head. So when you're doing this, Josh comes to me. Here, I strip the weapon. All right, now it's my turn. All right, right here. He strips the weapon. All right. So I just wanted to cover a little bit of the knife stuff. We're going to be doing a lot more later. Just give you a little kind of what we're going to be doing later. Just work with that. Work it slow. Slow, slow. Speed will come later. Don't worry about doing it so fast up front that, you know, you lose track of what you do. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know we went over a lot on this one. But practice practice and be sure you like subscribe share this with your friends and until next time keep training hard